Hey, what's up, sweaties? It's a brand new episode of Comic Book Shopping. I'm John Schnepp. We're here at Meltdown Comics. I'm here with Martin Starr. That's right, from Freaks and Geeks, Silicon Valley, and the brand new Spider-Man Homecoming. Can't wait for them to get my character. <laughs> That's right. You're going to be a pop. No. There's more breasts than butts. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. How do you have all this knowledge of all this? Let's geek out, Martin. You call them sweaty because you think people sit at home and sweat while they watch this? Hell yeah. Or they're just sweating when they're reading about comics and they get into it. So excited they sweat. See you later. Hey, this week we're going to change it up a little bit and talk about this week's brand new comics that just came out, Martin. Now, it sounds weird. Stay with me. Batman and Elmer Fudd. Now, I never thought I'd ever recommend something this stupid in my life, but this is incredible. And it is a take on Elmer Fudd done like a film noir. And you'd think you'd never want to check this out, ever. And then you see some of this artwork, and you see some of the dialogue and the scripting, and now... And then maybe you want to check it out, or maybe you don't. So the you may still come to the same conclusion. I'd say this one is really cool. Cave Carson, it's written by Gerard Way. So My Chemical Romance, he's now doing all of these really? comic books. Yeah, his little grouping of comic books is called Young Animal. There's Mother Panic, there's Doom Patrol. Have you ever thought about being a comic book salesman? Yes, I have. I try, you know what, I, I always try to pimp comics because I think comic books are not only a gateway drug to fucking fun and excitement, but it's good for the soul. Yeah, I got no argument there. What comic do you remember? What's the first comic that you ever read? I actually had a subscription to Spider-Man and coming full circle, being a part of the movie is pretty cool. How do you feel about being in the film? I'm really proud to have been a part of it. I think it turned out really great. And I've, I've known some of the guys at Marvel for a while, uh, Jeremy Latcham. I guess I've known one person at Marvel for a while, so it's cool to have finally gotten to work with him, and John Daly uh, co-wrote the movie. So, coming full circle from Freaks and Geeks to this. I loved it. I got a chance to see it. It's amazing. I see what you did there. Speaking of Spider-Man, let's yeah. go to the Spider-Man section and check it out. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Hey, let's talk about some Spider-Man comics. I would highly recommend getting this. This is an incredible comic. It's called Craven's Last Hunt. This was printed in the 80s. It follows a lot Your of Spider-Man. Your story checks out. Yep, definitely. Printed in the 80s. Total 80s. It says right there. Yep, Spider-Man with the black costume. It's going through a lot of stuff. And that's, then Craven is like, That's I'm called gonna... Venom. So he's not Venom yet. This is before he becomes Venom. This Venom. is Petey. All right, man. I'm not gonna argue with Martin Starr. It's Venom. But it's actually Peter Parker. No, no, that was, that was Venom. Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson. Now he's dropping some crazy knowledge, man. He's mixing cinema, movies, comics. I'm digging it, though. So here we go. We've got the Spider-Man, the Scarlet Spider edition. Like Spider -Man. Is this not Homeless Spider-Man? It could also be called Homeless Spider-Man. Or PJs. Yeah. It looks like he's wearing PJs. So there's going to be a pop of you popping out in this movie, I know. Eventually. Uh, uh, you know, I, I would not hold my breath. Are you signed up for more Spider-Man sequels? I am not, but I would love to be a part of more if that, if that works out. Well, he's going back to that same high school. I think everybody's going to be back. Yeah. So I think you're going to be back. You're Professor Harrington. Uh, yep. Your character was written by J. Michael Straczynski, one I, of your favorite writers. Yeah, he is my favorite. Yeah, we were talking about that before. That It, it is pretty crazy that he, and apparently only he wrote. Yeah, he created Mr. the Harrington. character. And also, your character dies by the hands of the chameleon. Oh man, I die. What is your favorite comic that J. Michael Straczynski wrote? Uh, Supreme Powers, probably. Now, Supreme Powers, if you guys don't know about it, it's actually an adaptation of the Squadron Supreme, which is kind of a loose amalgam of Justice League and the Avengers. Martin, with my, my super powered x ray hey. vision, I actually see a copy of Supreme Power over there. Oh, those. wow. You wanna check it out? Yes. Let's go over there. After me. Check it out, Supreme Powers right here. Thank you. Are we supposed to talk about it? Yes. Okay, let's talk. So this is the comic you're talking about that you really dug. There's a whole bunch of these different characters, like Nighthawk is the amalgam version of Batman. Mm -hmm. Best thing about it, boobs. Only above the waist though, so don't get your hopes up if you were looking for you know, some below the waist situation. It's a fun read too, because you have like Nighthawk, 
is kind of like Batman. But like they play into the archetypes that we're already familiar with, mm -hmm. and he does his own take on them. So, Martin, you've had some... I hear you have a question. I totally do, man. So, you've had... Were so, you talking about Party Down? I was about to talk about before that. Okay. You've had some amazing roles, like Freaks and Geeks. Thanks. Party Down, wore this especially for you. I appreciate it. And, of course, Silicon Valley you've got going right now. You were in a ton of Adult Swim stuff. Even, like, you Not just... Not to brag. So, you've done so many incredible roles. What are you looking forward to that you haven't done yet? Um, skydive alone without someone attached to the back of my... Yeah, not a friend who's like, I've got you. He's like, no, no safety harness. He's harness. no friend. He's just a protector. It is uncomfortable. Yeah. There is a bump in the middle of your back. It might be happy for him. Not so happy for me. Hey. Hey, what's up, Martin? Let's go comic shopping. I want to show you some amazing comics that you're going to dig. I would like to do that. Come on over here. You like to buy comics? Kind of. With people? I do. In front of cameras? I do. Perfect. You know what I like? I like Neonomicon. That's Alan Moore and Jason Burroughs' incredible HP Lovecraft Freak Fest. <laughs> I got Check it. I'll it have out. to pay for that. <laughs> now, this is a story what about is this, like these Jason Bourne? Exactly like Jason Bourne, but with demons. Is that a dildo? Welcome to the Necronomicon. <laughs> I want to introduce you to an amazing comic book written by Grant Morrison right behind you. It's called Earth One, Wonder Woman, that's the comic. It's fantastic. Hey, it is the comic. Clearly there's some s and going on. The guy who created Wonder Woman was a big s and freak. I think I could be into it, is that real? Yeah. So when you're doing s and uh, what's your like safe word? Wonder Woman. It's two words, but... Just check out some of this artwork. There's more breasts and butts. Mm hmm Sounds great. This is, are you sure this isn't a porn shot? This is like what the, they based a lot of the movie based off of this newer version where he's in high school and it's kind of a retelling of all the original Stanley Steve Ditko comic books. Mm -hmm. But I think you'll get a kick out of it. It's really well written. Are you ready, you ready to check out? I think so. Hey, guys. Yo. He's got the super stack. Super stack, yeah. Mm-hmm. So which one are you gonna crack open first? Um probably one of the dirty ones. Uh, 178.42. Cool. Uh, ooh, don't have it. Um, do you mind if I just take these anyway? Yeah, it's, it's fine. Thank you very much. Of course. Anytime. Anytime. All right, I'll be back. Hey, thanks for checking out the show. Definitely see Martin star in the brand new Spider-Man Homecoming out now. Martin, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me in your porn shop. Let's go read some comic books, man. Oh. Yeah, read them. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do.